I got one of the coolest little devices um, or a set of devices I think I've ever seen in terms of being really slick and solving a problem. We had our China fly out of a cabinet and smash in our RV. And I know that most people are smart enough to use plastic <laughs> instead of China. But when you live in your RV, it's nice to have real plates. And some other suggestions, which were really good ones, were to put your china, your plates in a drawer. But we don't really have any drawers that are wide enough for full-size plates, um, or at least not that are handy in the kitchen. So I wanted to put some type of latching system together and had looked at the yacht type of latches, which is a positive latching device for a cabinet, but it requires drilling a hole, and they were fairly expensive, you know, 15, 20 bucks a piece. And uh, we really only have one cabinet that's ever flown open, so that's not, not an issue. Um, but I saw a really cool little device that was advertised on Amazon. And these things are childproof locks, and they're meant to lock your cabinet and protect it from basically from children being able to open open it. So these things come packaged eight, uh, and we're just looking at one of them now. And these two things are for mounting magnets if you don't have a place that'll let the magnet, because they use key, magnetic keys to open these latches. So it comes with eight of these to the package, and I think the whole thing, uh, I'll verify it and post it on the video, but I think it was less than 20 bucks for all of them, including the shipping, and it was two-day shipping because of Amazon Prime. So how do these things work? Well, let me show you. I've mounted the latching device on the upper part of this cabinet, and then there's also uh, a matching mating device right here. And that mating device looks like looks like this before we've actually uh, put it on. And you can see it goes goes on the cabinet like that. The latch slides under that edge of it and then pops up and, and catches it. So right now I have it turned off. This is the coolest thing. These things have basically a switch that lets you turn them on and off. So if I flip the switch in the down position, the catch pops up now. Now it's on, and man, it works. That cabinet is latched securely. So how do you open it? Well, I have it mounted here on the side of the stove, but here's this little magnet. That's all it is, is a magnet. You simply hold it where the latch is, and it frees it and opens it. It's a little more difficult to do with one hand while I'm holding a camera. <laughs> but basically, if I can get this to, sh to uh, if I can get it kind of situated here, when I put when I put the magnet by it, that's all there is to it. And then when I'm stationary or we're stationary, I put the switch back into that position so that I don't have to use the magnet every time I open that cupboard. So. From now on, we've got travel mode. <laughs> Turn on travel mode, that's it. Get where you're going, open your cabinet back up using the magnet to unlatch it, and then flip it back into stationary mode so that you don't have to mess with it. Problem solved. Inexpensively and pretty easy to install. I just screwed, used screws to mount that stuff in the in the cabinet, and that's all there was to it. Pretty cool, I thought. Anyway, talk to you later.